only eating at Jollibee for a full day. I don't know why the spicy chicken joy has been all over my For You page, but I had to get some. It comes with this thick, savory gravy, and it's literally the best fast food fried chicken I've ever had. Like, it's so crispy and juicy, and the gravy adds so much flavor, and my only thing is it could be a little spicier. And then you gotta mix up the palabok to get all the flavors in that pork and shrimp sauce, and the rice noodles are so soft. They just melt in your mouth, and it's salty in the best way. And of course, you gotta get the spaghetti, and if sweet, cheesy hot dogs spaghetti doesn't sound good to you, you just have to try it. There's something magical about the sugary sauce with the savory meat and the cheesy noodles. It's so good, okay? And then I had to start with the peach mango pie because it's so good. It's like juicy and the filling is like super sweet, really warm and mangoey and thick and it's perfectly crispy. I could eat five of them. And then I came back later to try the burger steak, which is smothered in this buttery mushroom gravy. And I wasn't expecting the burger to be so soft and tender and rich. It was actually incredible. And the adobo rice with the mushroom gravy, game changer. It goes so well with the garlicky pork. And I also got the spicy chicken deluxe sandwich. They give you the thickest piece of chicken, which is so crunchy, not quite as juicy as the chicken joy. And the bun was a little dry, but the sriracha mayo was delicious. And the coconut pineapple pie was chunky. It had these big pieces of coconut and the pineapple was super sweet. I still think I prefer the mango and I've never tried their fries before. They definitely give McDonald's like nice and salty and that's all for today. Everything I ate at a fair, you guys, they have honey bun bacon cheeseburgers and they grilled the honey buns like right out of the bag. They gave me a lot of bacon too. And honestly, okay, it was better than I was expecting because the burger itself was so good. It was like pretty juicy. And the honey buns were warm and they got a little crispy on the griddle and the cheese was all melty. I could definitely only eat a few bites, but if you like savory and sweet, it's good. And then we kept walking and saw these giant mozzarella cheese sticks that were a quarter pound of cheese. And it came with marinara to dip in and the breading was so crispy and thick and the marinara was like a little tangy and the cheese was pretty creamy too but again i just couldn't eat the whole thing and then we walked around some more and i found what i was most excited for deep fried s'mores oh my gosh it was covered in chocolate and powdered sugar and inside the marshmallow and the chocolate got all melty and formed this like delicious sugary goo they also used chocolate graham crackers so crunchy so chocolatey and i also got chocolate dipped cheesecake that was surprisingly so cheesy <laughs> the crust was nice and buttery and the chocolate added a little snap, but yeah, it was just so cheesy. And that's all for today. Only eating Korean food for a full day. I freaking love Korean barbecue. There's so many sauces and sides. It's like a buffet and it was unlimited food for $33 a person. And then you gotta put the meat in a big piece of lettuce with kimchi and whatever sauce you want. And it adds that fresh crunch and it lets all the flavors in that savory, juicy meat shine. You're supposed to eat it all in one bite, but I made mine too big. And the marinated bulgogi was the best meat by far. It was so tender and smoky and I tried it with a sesame sauce and chili oil. It wasn't my favorite sauce combo, but that's okay because you guys, they opened a Korean corn dog place right across the street from me. Are you kidding? I got the squid ink matzo dog with ketchup, garlic parm, cheddar cheese, and hot Cheetos. And look at the little tentacles. And the squid ink batter didn't taste fishy at all. It was super crispy, crunchy, and the mozzarella was creamy and the sauces added some tanginess and some spiciness. But the hot dog itself was so delicious. It had a lot of flavor and a little sweetness and the bottom bottom got all crispy in the fryer and then I headed to my local Asian market for some snacks and I guess I was expecting these tteokbokki chips to be a little spicy but they were sweet and if you've never tried honey butter chips you must they're so buttery and sweet but not too sweet but these churro turtle chips are like my favorite thing ever they're the best texture they're like layers of puffy crunchy chocolatey cinnamon they're so fun to bite into you can eat the whole bag in like 20 minutes and that's all for today eating whatever I want for a full day to celebrate all two million of you. Oh my gosh, I went to this brunch spot that had cinnamon roll French toast. It had this rum butter drizzle sauce and cream cheese icing and these really juicy berries. And it was a lot for sure, but the bread was like layered with warm sugary cinnamon. Then I had to get one of my favorite foods of all time. So it's onion pakora, which are these like super crispy, crunchy fritters. And I also got extra spicy vindaloo because it's the most flavorful, delicious curry, okay? Like the chicken is is always super tender. It comes with these chunky potatoes that just melt in your mouth. And it wouldn't be my perfect day without my favorite dessert, the Oreo Dream Extreme Cheesecake. The cheesecake is so freaking creamy and rich and the Oreo mousse is like the fluffiest thing ever. And the chocolate ganache is Thick. And the back of the piece is the best part because it has those crunchy chocolate chips and you got to eat the whipped cream with the giant cookie. It's so good. Anyway, I love you all. Thank you so much for 2 million and that's all for today.
letting my followers decide everything I do for a full day in Las Vegas. I put out a poll on IG and everyone, like everyone said to go to Meow Wolf. So basically it's a fake grocery store, but everything is still for sale, but none of it is actual groceries. And you have to find these hidden passageways into this other world. And it's so trippy. There's slides and hidden tunnels and it's just so beautiful. Like I could have stayed here all day, but they also have a cool hidden lounge with pretty bevs. Mine came in a squishy cup. And I know this is kind of cheating, but Chris kept commenting that he wanted to come see the show at the win because we both heard it was really cool so we decided to check it out and our seat had a little table in between and they brought us snacks and the show was absolutely gorgeous like visually they had giant puppets and the whole stage lit up and they kept bringing us food throughout the whole thing but i'm not mad because these macarons were covered in white chocolate and they were absolutely delicious and we were already at the win this lady kept commenting to go to their parasol bar and oh my gosh it was so pretty you can sit outside by the fountain and watch the show and it was wild they had a fly system and this astronaut lady kept flying in and out i think it was just a mannequin but still very unique and okay everyone kept saying you have to go to the bellagio the whole time all i could think about was oceans 13 but the fountain show was stunning and that's all for today everything i ate my first time at wiener schnitzel i saw that they had chili cheese mac and cheese so of course i had to try it and look at how cheesy it's made with their secret recipe chili sauce which is actually so good it's kind of smoky kind of sweet i also had to try the junkyard dog which is a chili cheese dog with fries and mustard on top and the fries add a little crunch and then the mustard adds some tang and i was feeling kind of wild today so i added some chili mac to the hot dog it's definitely a lot but also kind of incredible and then i had to try the jalapeno poppers which honestly were the best fast food poppers i've ever had like a really nice amount of heat super crispy outside and then warm and gooey inside and even better with the ranch they also have corn dogs with sweet honey batter that has the perfect rich deep fried flavor and don't judge me but i wanted to see what the mac and cheese tasted like with the corn dog and i mean like it was fire okay it's so cheesy it's so meaty and finally i tried their mint chips ahoy shake that has chunks of crunchy chocolate chip cookies in it really refreshing and creamy and that's all for today only eating at viral food spots for a full day in las vegas dirt talk is on like every vegas food list so i had to see what the hype is about they have double stuffed fried oreos that got all melty and gooey inside and came with fluffy horchata whipped cream so crispy too and i got the elote dog which is a hot dog wrapped in bacon and then grilled and it had cotija and i got it x-grade which means they add flaming hot cheetos and takis dust which adds like the perfect crunch then we went to chica for their famous corn which is actually a flan cheesecake and it's filled with strawberry sauce and then it's got this buttery chili graham cracker crumble and it's so fluffy and creamy and soft and for dinner we went to the nomad library which is a hidden restaurant and it's filled with thousands of books and they brought out this puffy gruyere bread that was so cheesy really light too and just look at this lemon herb cheese dip it came with these super crispy fried artichokes and the earthiness of the artichokes goes so well with that tangy creamy cheese and they literally gave us so much lobster in this lobster mac and cheese and it had this crispy layer of cheese on top the pasta was actually cooked perfectly and it was really rich but my favorite was this ricotta cavatelli that was covered in black truffles and it had this savory fennel sausage that just added so much flavor and finally they end your meal with cotton candy how fun i haven't had cotton candy in forever and that's all for today only eating east asian food for a full day in las vegas first up we went to this famous taiwanese dumpling and noodle house and i got these kimchi pork dumplings and fresh kimchi juice is rolled into the dough to give it even more flavor and they just melt in your mouth we also got crispy shrimp and pork pot stickers that came with this thick sweet sauce and they were juicy and i wasn't gonna get fried rice but i am so glad we did because this is the best fried rice i've ever had it's so simple yet so flavorful and savory and these spicy chicken wontons were just swimming in this garlicky vinegary sauce and these chicken fried noodles were thick they were wok fried and green onion infused oil they had crunchy cabbage and so much chicken too and you guys they had chocolate mochi xiaolong baos that were filled with a melted chocolate truffle and this super thin layer of mochi and they're so warm and gooey and i literally had to get these sweet taro buns they were so fluffy and the filling was like silky smooth super soft and warm and i also got some boba honey milk tea that was super refreshing and really sweet and i was so full i didn't eat for a few hours but i had my eye on this korean fried chicken sandwich for days it's two pieces of crispy fried chicken in their signature sauce which is like sweet and spicy Spicy. I eventually gave up and ate the sandwiches separately, but oh, the chicken was so juicy and the melty cheese and crunchy pickles and it had QP mayo too. I definitely couldn't eat the whole thing by myself, but Chris was there to help and that's all for today. 
everything I ate at Outback's fast food restaurant. I'm pretty sure there's only a few locations in the US and they have milkshakes. I got this strawberry one that was thick. It had this great vanilla flavor with these strawberry sauce swirls. And honestly, it wasn't too sweet. And the ladies had to get this brisket stack burger, which is 12 hours slow braised brisket on top of a cheeseburger. And it had jalapenos and smoky mayo. And the barbecue sauce was nice and tangy. And they have bloomin' onion rings, which are just massive onion rings. They're really, really crunchy. And I don't know what was in the Aussie sauce, but it was super creamy. Then later I got some takeout and apparently this crispy sriracha sandwich was voted best sandwich in Tampa or something like that. And the piece of chicken was huge. Huge, the crispy hand breaded chicken was actually really spicy and it had a nice sweetness from the honey and crunchiness from the pickles. I was getting kind of full, so I just ate the chicken, but it was really juicy too. And look at these massive sweet heat fries. They were so long and they had this sugary, spicy hot sauce and ranch, which was like the perfect balance. I'm actually kind of obsessed with them. They're so thick and filling. And finally, I got the Ghirardelli double dark chocolate brownie. I heated it up so the chocolate got all melty and gooey and it was so soft, really chocolatey. And that's all for today. Only eating Italian food for a full day in Las Vegas. We had to start off at the Venetian, of course. And I'm not lying when I say this is one of the best pizzas I've ever had. They have this traditional wood fire oven. So the crust is like perfectly charred and chewy. And this spicy salami was literally bursting with flavor. And then we got this parsley infused pappardelle that had braised wild boar sugo and the pasta was silky. And then this gacho e pepe was thick and the pecorino was so rich super peppery and yeah just really cheesy after that we headed to italy at the park mgm for some pastries i got this super light cake that was soaked in limoncello syrup and filled with custard cream it was so sweet and tart and then we headed to toscana for dinner and i've never heard of gnocco frito before but it's this super light airy fried dough that you wrap in 20 month aged prosciutto and then you eat it with mozzarella and the creamy fatty cheese with the salty savory meat we also got this gorgeous prima Vera risotto and this gnocchi melted in my mouth but the star of the show was this veal chop it was grilled in their firewood oven so it had this amazing char but it was still so juicy and it had this like addicting smoky flavor and this gorgeous dessert was like an ice cream it was covered in thick bittersweet chocolate and then had this crunchy nutty praline base it was heavenly then it was back to the venetian to see my friend in six the musical oh my gosh she slayed my entire life the show was so fun and the songs are still stuck in my head and after that we went to electric at the Venetian because I had to end Italian day with a little Bev, of course. And that's all for today.